Hi guys, today we're doing some floor jump drills. So the first one we do is our split leaps. Now we're gonna start with one leg up in front of us, standing on a bent leg, and we're gonna jump and land on the leg that's in front of us, making sure it is bent when we land on the floor. When we jump, we wanna keep our chest up nice and tall. We're gonna do this three times on either our good leg and our bad leg, or just your good leg. And now the next drill that we do is for our switch leaps. That will be coming soon. Here we go. Now for this one, similar to our split leap, we have one leg up in front of us, arms out to the side, and we're going to do a little hop and snap that leg behind us as fast as we can, making sure the leg that you're standing on stays bent so that we do not hurt ourselves. Like our split leaps, you can either do this one on both legs or just your good leg, but we're going to be doing this one three times. Now the next drill we do is our punch straight jumps. So we're going to be doing these from one step. We have our bad leg in front and we're going to step, jump onto two feet and do a nice big straight jump. Make sure when you jump your arms are up next to your ears and your body is nice and tight and you land in a tight motorbike shape. We're going to do this one three times. Now after that we go onto our tuck jump straight jumps. Now in our straight jump, we want our body nice and open, arms next to our ears and tight. And in our tuck jumps, we want our knees to come all the way up next to our chest. In between the two jumps, make sure you do a nice big arm swing so that you get the biggest jump you can possibly do. After that, we do our split jump straight jumps. So our straight jump is similar to before, nice open shape, arms next to our ears. And our split jump, we want our legs to snap up and down as fast as we can with nice straight legs. We're doing this three times. Now once we've done that, we move on to our wolf jump straight jumps. So our straight jump stays the same, nice and open and tight. In our wolf jump, we want our knees to stay together, dropping our chest only a little bit and bringing our leg to meet halfway. Keeping that top leg nice and straight landing again in a nice tight motorbike position. Now once we've done those, we move on to our jump full turns. Now you can either do this one, dropping one arm behind or both arms behind. Just make sure you do the right arm when you drop one behind. If you're spinning to the right, drop your left arm. And if you're spinning to the left, drop your right arm. Keeping your body in a super tight straight position in the air. Now, once we've done our jump full turns, we move on to our tuck jump half turns. Now you can either do the tuck jump first or afterwards the half turn, or the half turn then the tuck jump. Just make sure your knees come all the way up next to your chest and you land in a full half. Similar to before, we're doing split jump half turns next. Now for this one, it's easier to do the split jump first before the half turn. Snapping those legs down as fast as you can to land in a tight motorbike shape. Good job, guys.